Hey everyone, welcome back to my new video. And in this video I am going to show you, how you can make this dynamic 3D gaming intro, using in video editor. So let's start the video. I have already made a video on in video editor. So I hope you already know about this editor. Or if not, then let me tell you. NVIDIA is an online powerful video editor, where you will get 5000 plus customizable templates, which you can use as you want. Or you can create a blank canvas and start editing video from scratch. Here you will also get 10 million assets from premium source like Shutterstock and iStock, which you can use for your videos. Now to make the intro, which I have shown you in the preview. Click on this search bar and search for gaming intro. and you will get lots of different templates. You can use any of these templates if you want. But to make the intro, I have shown you in the preview. You have to use this template. And here you will get to see the preview. Then select the dimension, in which you want to make the intro. If you want to make this intro for Instagram, then you can select this vertical or square format. But I will make this intro in 16 is to 9 ratio. Then click here to edit this template. Here in the timeline, you will get all the scenes, which is used in this intro. Now we will edit all the scenes one by one. In first scene, we will change this text. For that, select this text layer from this layer panel. Then click on this pencil icon, and write your text here. And click on save. Then we will adjust the size of this text. Click here, and decrease the size value according to your text. I will decrease the size to around 400. After that we will adjust this text in the center. Like this. Now we will go to scene 2. Here first we will change this text. Then we will make the liquid effect, which you have seen in the preview, which is super easy to make it. Select this text layer from this layers panel. Click on this pencil icon. And write your text here, as we done before. and click on save. Then we will change the font of this text, because it's not looking good. For that, click on this fonts option. And you will get lots of different fonts, and you can use any of this font if you want. Or you can also upload your own fonts, if you want. Just click on this upload option. But I will select this first font from here, which is also used in scene 1. Then we will adjust the size of this text. For that click here, and keep any lower value according to your text. I will decrease the value to around 300. Now it's looking good. Then we will make this text center, like this. Now we make a duplicate layer, to make the liquid text effect. Click on this copy icon, or press Ctrl plus C on keyboard. Then click on this paste icon, to make duplicate text layer. After that we will drag this layer down, and place it below the main text layer, like this. Now click here to lock the main text layer, so that its position doesn't get changed, while editing the duplicate layer. Then we will increase the size of this duplicate text layer. I will keep the size to around 400. After that we will adjust this text in the center, like this. Now we will change the color of this text. For that click on this text color option. And from here select any color. I will select this purple color, but you are free to use any color according to your choice. Unlock main text layer, then click on this shadow option, and enable shadow. Now we will go to scene 3. Here first we will change the background color. For that, go to overlays. And here select this pink overlay. Then move this overlay layer down, and place below this chain layer. So that only background color get changed. Then select this text layer. Click on this pencil icon, and write your text here. And click on save. After that decrease the text size, according to your text. I will decrease the size to around 500. Then we will add shadow to this text, click on this shadow option. And enable shadow. Now we will go to scene 4. Here first we will change this text, as we done before.
then we will change the font. Click on this fonts option, and here select this first font. Then decrease the size according to your text, I will decrease the size to around 350. After that we will align this text in the center, just like this. Now we will go to scene 5. Here first we will change this image. For that, go to layers panel and select this image layer. Then go to upload option. Click on upload media, and upload your images. I have already uploaded this image. So I will drag this image and place above this selected image. And we will get this replace option, click on it. Now if you want to adjust this image, then click on this edit mask option. And adjust the image like this. Then click on save. Now we will follow the same process to change all this text. Select all this text layer one by one. Then click on this pencil icon, and write your text here. After changing all this text, click on this upload logo option. And upload your logo. Now to export this intro, click on this download option. And here select the resolution 1080p. Then click on export. It will take some time to export this intro, so wait for it. After export, here you can see the preview if you want. Then click on this download button, to download this intro. From here you can also share this video to YouTube, Facebook or Twitter if you want. If you sign up on InVideo using the link given in description. And if you use my code GRAPHICS25, you will get 25% discount. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, then don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below. Also if you're new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So that you get notified whenever I post a new video. I will see you in my next video, till then bye.